this tutorial. And so here's the landing page that we're going to be designing. I'll just get, get all that out of the way. So we've got the major book um, image and then some text and finally a MailChimp sign-up link as well as a little bit of bottom content area that might be filled in in the future. So if you'd like to know how to design this, there are other videos that I've posted earlier that you can use to get to this point. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is save out the most important images. Um, our images are going to be one large image for this book. There's just too much going on in order to recreate it with CSS. We could do it, but it's not worthwhile for this. A second image for this background here, a nice big background image. And then finally, a third tiny little pattern image down here in the bottom. So it'll just be the three images. And so let's get started. So for the book, I have already in a single group that contains everything. Now, I have this great Photoshop plugin um, called DevRocket, which I really like. And it has this feature called UI Snips. And so I can select a layer or a group of layers and hit UI Snips. And what it does is it creates a new document with just that on it. So it's got my shadows included and everything. So I could save that out just as it is, and that's really handy. So I highly recommend you pick up the plugin. Um, I think it's 10 bucks or something like that. Totally worthwhile. Now, if you don't have that, the the way I did it before having the DevRocket plugin is to take all the layers I want, duplicate them, and then press Command E in order to merge them onto a single flat layer. And then Command A to select everything, Command C to copy, and then File, New, and it's going to default to the dimensions of my book, of, of what I have in the clipboard. So there we go, and paste, and so now I have that saved out, or ready to be saved. In this case, we're going to go File, uh, Save for Web and Devices, and I need this to be a PNG. And unfortunately, it's going to be a fairly large image. Um, but I don't think there's a way around that, and I'm willing to accept that for this landing page. So let's save it out. And let me get to the right place. And so this is the folder I'm going to build it in. I'm going to create an image folder just for that to go in, and we're going to call this iosbook.png Alright, so one of three images is saved out. We can close out of both of these since they're not needed anymore. Then what I do is this extra layer is not needed, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, the next image that I want to get at is this whole background image. And this one's going to be a little bit more work. When we designed it, my canvas is only 1200 pixels wide, but there's a chance that someone could view it on a screen that's much, much wider. And so I don't want it to have this hard edge like it would in Photoshop. So conveniently, this image is a little bit larger. You can see looking at this, oops, just how much bigger it is. So that gives me a little bit more room. And what I'm gonna do is use that extra space in order to fade to black. So, let's see. We need to figure out roughly how big this is. So I'm going to create a new document that's quite large. Um, I'm going to say 3,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels. Because that's smaller, or that's larger than the image I'm going to drop on it. And then I'm going to grab this, and I have these shading layers as well, and that's what kind of darkened where the text is and some important things like that. So I'm going to grab all, actually I'm going to grab all of these together and drop them in. And as you can see, I don't need it anywhere near that, that large. But that's okay. So I'm going to switch to my crop tool 
and just crop this in to a closer size to what I want. There we go. And I'm going to center this and clear the layer styles. Oops. Interesting. Okay. So we'll keep those layer styles. They're affecting how the image looks. And I didn't realize that. But we'll darken that entirely. And now what I want to do is a nice fade to black. So to start with, I'm going to grab on this the edges that I already have. First I'm going to select a rectangular marquee tool instead of the ellipsis. I'm going to just select a little bit and then drag it out so that that basically matches. And actually that didn't work out as I thought. And I'll show you the mistake that I made was I needed to select the very edge of this layer and I didn't. So I want to just stretch that just so that I'm getting a nice even blend. And let's stretch that out as well. Oh, and I made the same mistake on the side, but I less. All right. There we go. That's good enough for our purposes. So we'll create a new layer, press G to switch to our gradient tool. That green color is not good for anything. Let's switch it to black. And then I'm just going to start a little bit outside and draw a gradient in fading to black. And the same thing on the other side. And that's pretty good. Most of this won't be seen unless you're viewing it on a large monitor but we can be confident that even on a large monitor things will look fine. So let's save this out and that was command option shift s to get the save for weapon devices dialog. I'm going to set this to a jpeg and again it's another large jpeg. Since this is in the background though I'm going to drop the quality a little bit more. That might be too much. Just play around with it, see how it looks. In this case, I think I'll go with 60. I can always change it later. And we're going to call this background.jpg. Very descriptive. OK. And now for our final texture. And this is actually. A couple of textures. And as you can see, there's a perfect repeating pattern in here that, and this is a slightly different texture than I had in the last video, and that's not on purpose. Um, I've actually designed that same image a couple of times. So I'm just going to draw a shape. I want to get the set of lines on one side, but not the other. And that looks like that will do it. So again, I'm going to create a new layer and merge some layers. That was Command, Option, Shift, N, E is the, the total keyboard shortcut there. And then I can press uh, Command C and then and Command N, and then I'm creating a new layer with what was in my clipboard. And I can paste that in, and that should work well. So I'm going to save this out. I'll bump up the quality just a little bit since it's such a small image, it doesn't matter. We'll save this and we'll call this grid texture.jpg. Okay. 